Hello. This is just the final level of Half-Life 2 Episode 2, the best level, running in UE4. After I spent probably half an hour or something porting it using Hamua, I didn't even really need to take that long. It's a pretty simple process these days. Hamua now imports not just maps, but also models and materials from the Source Engine and... well, yeah, from the Source Engine. And also lights, so... All I really did here was fool around with a couple of the materials and add a sky, post-process volume, a couple of things like that. So I'm just going to fly around it and run around it for a bit. All of those uh, red errors on the screen are just being thrown by logic entities, logic relay, logic auto from uh, Half-Life 2. Importing logic from Source Engine maps is kind of a work in progress in Hamua. It works pretty well, but a lot of the same entities don't exist, so it's just a matter of recreating them in Blueprint in order to get them re-importing. You can see some of the logic entities hanging around in space. Certain things like this building don't import correctly because these are the buildings that explode at the end of episode 2 using cinematic physics as they called it, which is just an animation of a building exploding. Hamua doesn't import animations yet, so that's probably why that's not happening. Also there's still a bug where certain things, certain uh, props come in at the wrong angles sometimes that we're still trying to figure out. So that's that. Also, this entire map kind of looks like a dick. While I'm doing this, I might as well go into the Lost Coast map as well. I guess you might want to fast forward. Here we go. So same deal with Lost Coast, I just imported it in not very much time at all. And it went off more or less without a hitch. So that's how easy it is to port Half-Life 2 maps now. Or Source Engine maps, I should say.
This would work just as well for Left 4 Dead, TF2, Dota 2 before the Source 2 port. Half-Life 1, Quake. Probably follow Turfster on Twitter if you want to hear more about this. Also just follow Amuir. And probably me while you're in there. Ugh, I'm not Gordon Freeman, I don't have the fishermen to open this for me. Certain parts of the map come up kind of ugly because of uh, basically faces inside faces. Um, each of these arches, for instance, is made up of a whole bunch of different solids and most of them are not no-drawed. So if you just were to no-draw all of your brushes apart from the faces that you can see, you wouldn't get screwy lighting like this. Okay, guess that's it. Let's see this off in the traditional way. Whoa. Thanks for watching. Probably buy Hamuel. It's like 20 bucks or something. Maybe it's 30? Something like that. It's worth it at whatever price. Do it. Lotus.